Hey, it's Bronze Avery, and these are five tracks that inspired me. First song is How Can I Not Know What I Need Right Now by Charlie XCX. To start, Charlie XCX is my favorite artist of all time. Everything she does is just so amazing. And when I first heard the song, it was actually on Crash Deluxe, not the original version of Crash. And I was so mad it wasn't on the original because it's so, so good. It has such a dreamy, euphoric quality, but it's also so deeply introspective. And those are all things I try to capture in my music. In fact, there's a song on my album, Soft Metal, called Personal Attack. And the ending is completely inspired by some of the harsh sonics but dreamy sonics and how can i not know what i need right now so inspiring <laughs> second song is crush by ethel kane when i first heard the song i was just like casually in the kitchen and i think the song just casually came on a playlist and the lyric i owe you a black eye and two kisses tell me when you want to come and get them I was like stopped in my tracks and I had to like immediately look it up. And once I found out more about Ethel Kane and their upbringing and knowing that she produces all of her music and has really created a tiny atmosphere that is so unique to her, so, so inspiring. Also the song just has such a longing, romantic, um, preen quality to it. And it's just the best to listen to. It's also the best to scream to with your friends. I'm always pre-gaming and screaming this song. <laughs> Prom by SZA. When I first heard this song, my jaw completely dropped. I was actually on a flight back to, La I was like visiting Los Angeles before I moved here. And um, it was, I think this is back in 2016 when Control was first coming out and there was advertisements for it all around. I was visiting and I was like, who is this? I had no idea um, beyond knowing her from the Rihanna album, Anti. And we, I think I was at the Melrose Trading Post and someone was passively playing Gogina and we shazammed it and we were like, okay, this is a girl, like she's gonna be interesting, we should listen to it. And on the plane ride back, I heard Prom and that song just took me to like another dimension. First of all, it's so amazing because it doesn't sound like any other song ever. It's completely unique. The harmonies are so gorgeous and the melodies are just they're out of this world. It's like you've never heard a song like Prom, and those qualities in that song are qualities I always want to have in my music. I always want to make a sonic world that you haven't heard of before that is like completely unique to me, and Prom does that so well. Already Over by Sabrina Carpenter. Oh my god. God, when I first heard the song, it was like just a snippet on TikTok, which is so funny how that's like how we find music so much nowadays. But she posted just a snippet of it and I was obsessed. I could not wait for the day that it came out. And when it finally did, it like totally like exceeded my expectations for how good of a song it was going to be. It's like, it makes me mad when I listen to it because it's like, a, I feel like I would have written this song. Like, I also feel like we were going through the same experience of like this really confusing, um, tumultuous situationship type deal. And also just her vocal sounds perfect and beautiful. And the instrumental is just so complimentary to the story. It's like, I think it's my favorite song of 2022. It's so, so inspiring conceptually. I'm obsessed. Last song is Overkill by Holly Humberstone. This is my introduction to Holly, and I think she's truly one of the most brilliant songwriters, singers of this upcoming generation, just truly a marvel. And the music video for this song in particular is so dreamy and raw and iconic. I was so taken aback when I first heard this song and I I was obsessed. I literally think I posted it to like my story like probably 10 times like after I heard it. I was so possessed by Overkill and sonically it really reminded me that I love this style of music and this is actually you know some of the music I listen to the most often and where I get so much of my emotive qualities from and I really wanted to reflect that in my album Soft Metal so so many of the songs were actually inspired by songs like Overkill. Um, in particular, there's a song called Bible Name that I directly was like, I want to make a song so similar to this that captures this feeling. 
and there's not a lot of black musicians who are really in this sonic lane of kind of this like blend of indie rock and there's definitely not a lot of black and queer musicians in this lane and it's something that i'm so proud of to display on soft metal it's like a cool fragment and that's why overkill is so inspiring to me Thank you.